Hi, I'm Dave Dunwoody, uh, President Head Honcho at Graf Tech Guitar Labs. Uh, we're here at the NAMM Show 2023, and uh, it's busy. It's busy. It's really good to see that uh, we're so busy here. Uh, we're introducing a lot of new products. Uh, Graf Tech, um, two parts to Graf Tech Guitar Labs what we do. We supply guitar manufacturers with components like Gibson, Fender, uh, Martin, Taylor, Mahalo, Kala, uh, Epiphone, list goes on and on. Uh, but I just want to introduce you to some of our newest products that we're just introducing at the show. And I've got a couple of guitars here equipped. So let's start off with the Unlock Nut, which is right here on this uh, carving guitar. Now the Unlock Nut, uh, Floyd Rose came out with the locking system where you lock the nut and uh, saddles down on the bridge uh, to be able to do the dive bombs that Eddie Van Halen made a very famous. And back then they didn't have locking machine heads. Now that they do have locking machine heads, you can get, a, get away from your lock nut and use the unlock nut, which is a self-lubricating nut that fits in the same footprint as a locking nut. The hassle with the locking nut, as soon as you lock the strings down, you can't use your machine heads, so you have to use the fine tuners on the bridge to try to tune your guitar up. Now, with Unlock Nut, you can use your machine heads to tune, go to drop tunings, whatever you want to do here. And if you do break a string, it's easy. You don't have to find an Allen key to loosen off the screws and the bolts to get the string out. Just restring the guitar, lock it down, and you're strung back up. And then, if we move down to this end of the guitar, we have now our Ghost Bridge, which is, the, uh, again, a locking bridge, but with our Ghost pickups inside. So now you can go down, you can go from uh, electric sound to acoustic sound with the flick of a switch or play both at the same time. So this is using our Ghost pickup system and our Ghost Acoustophonic preamp. So the preamp is smart preamp. So uh, if you plug a mono cable into the guitar, both the acoustic and the electric signal will go down the one cable. If you put in a stereo cable, the acoustic will go out one cable, which you can plug into a full range PA system or acoustic amp, and the electric sound can go into a, a guitar amp, like a high water or an orange or whatever you want to do. Uh, once you use a system where you can go acoustic to electric, it's hard to go back because you can get used to playing acoustic guitar, whip into a lead solo, and go back again and play acoustic guitar. It's a, it's a very cool thing. We do this for uh, Gibson guitars for the Alex Lifeson model. And now Epiphone's also got an Alex Lifeson model out too, which uses the LB63 uh, acoustic electric bridge with the ghost pickup systems. Now if we travel over to the bass, we just introduced at the NAMM show here our new uh, bass pickup system. So again, we're using the ghost pickups in here, and these saddles are, they're, they're adjustable, you can adjust the tilt on them. Uh, the pickup is right under the string here. Uh, you've got a lot of range of movement forward and backwards for uh, multi-scale basses. Um, uh, what else? And again, it's same as the um, uh, locking bridge I showed you, as you go from your magnetic pickups to your acoustic sound or combine them both together. What you really notice, especially in bass guitar, is the ghost pickups have a lot wider range of tone. So you can go way lower on the bass end, um, which, which is really amazing, and makes a really authentic acoustic bass sound, especially if you're using a fretless bass. So that's the uh, our new uh, Helium X22 uh, saddles. And another product, that both of these guitars have, the bass and the electric guitar, is our ratio machine heads. And ratio machine heads are, uh, it's kind of like the automatic transmission for a guitar for tuning. Each string on a guitar and a bass reacts differently to string tensions. If I ask a guitar player, electric guitar player especially, what's, what string is the hardest to tune, or what string goes out to tune the most? They'll usually say the G string. And the reason is the G string is three times more sensitive to any tension change than the high E string. So what we've done with ratio machine heads is each string has a specific gear ratio. So one turn 
a full turn on the machine head is a tone on every string. So you get fine tuning on like the G string, the low E string. You get a co coarser tuning on the high E or the D string. So it doesn't go by diameter of the string, but the core thickness of the string. And the same again on the uh, bass guitars. So the, basically on the electric guitar, we go a 39 to one gear ratio. Um, and we go down to a high E string, which has a 12 to one gear ratio. The G string, which is again super sensitive, a 35 to one gear ratio. All combined here, it just makes tuning a lot easier. When you're trying to dial in, I know, I know some guys, when, uh, I'm a guitar player too, and when you're trying to tune the G string, you're trying to hit that note, you go too far up, then you detune again, they're trying to go up and trying to hit the note. That's the reason for that is, is the, an 18 to one gear ratio, 21 to gear ratio is just too coarse of a tuning uh, gear ratio to get the fine tune on that G string. So with a 35 to one gear ratio, it's so easy. And every string has the same feel. Same feel, the E string it feels like you're tuning the G string as you're tuning the low E string. So uh, the ratios are available, locking, non-locking, acoustic, electric, bass, um, a lot of different styles, uh, four, five, and six string bass. The six string bass gear ratio goes down to a 65 to one gear ratio. It's a, it's a pretty amazing, uh, pretty amazing system. And once, once you try it, you'll, you'll see how much, how, uh, how much easier it is to tune and more relaxing. Again, like an automatic transmission in a car, if you got time to drink a coffee, drive and look around, you don't, you don't have to keep worrying about shifting gears. So that's uh, that's uh, Graftech Guitar Labs at NAMM 2023. And appreciate you st sticking by. Uh, visit Graftech Guitar Labs, www.graftech.com or www.tusq.com, Tusk, which is our man-made ivory nuts and saddles. Thanks a lot.